We came to United States, it was during the Shah, and after that there was the Iranian Revolution, and then after the diplomatic relationship between United States and Iran were cut off, we realized that there is a big misunderstanding among people, especially between Iranian and American. So what we realized is if they knew each other, they would be having a much better relationship. And this is why we are thinking it's important for uh, everybody to have the dialogue and the understanding. And we see the same thing among the people of different faiths. So that's why we are trying to get involved and we are trying to promote dialogue between people of different faith, different nationalities and different origins. You know, thank you for getting this uh, award. And I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not able to attend to this function. And uh, the reason the dialogue is so important and is, you know, my personal experience was I was living in a country which I was majority of majority. Uh, so I was really, you know, uh, you know, in a Muslim country, Shia Muslims, and I was Shia, and there was minorities of Sunnis and Christians and others. So I never thought they count because the majority rules, right? Then when I came to this country, I become minority of minorities. And after a while, I realized, okay, it doesn't matter if you're a minority, but you have to have your voice. And how can you do that? By communicating, understanding, getting involved. And that's basically why, that was my reason why I'm getting involved very much. To make sure people understand you. Make sure people understand other minorities. Regardless of race, religion, sex, whatever. Uh, it's important for people to understand each other. When you understand the individual and see where they come from, and all the animosity is going to go away. And I'm eternally grateful for the work that uh, Dialogue Institute does, especially the programs that they have put together in the past, some of which was uh, bringing the people of different faith together. Dialogue Institute are doing, and they're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. And the absence of dialogue is war, and that's what they are trying to avoid. avoid.